In this video, we're going to show you how to insert images into the graphing sticky and the geometry sticky so that you can use real world images to help students explore mathematics. So we're going to pull up a graphing sticky and you can do lots of things, enter functions, use data, but here is the image and when I click it, it basically is asking you to go find an image. So when I click in the center here, it's going to go to where I might have some stored pictures. And these can be anything. I'm just going to use an example that makes sense for using a function. So when I hit bridge or the picture that I've chosen, it is going to show you that that's the picture. And when you hit OK, it enters it. So notice it's kind of small. It comes centered at the grid. If you want the grid on, you can change the size right here. You can change where the center is, where so you can move it around if you want. Um, Let's say I want it to be bigger, so I'm going to maybe let's double the size. And I'm going to double this as well. So that was what? 9.4. And so it's going to change the size of my grid. You could also just click on the grid and zoom in, zoom out. It sort of just depends how you want to approach this. It's nice to work with students and think about the window and the scale. But now that you have this image here, you can turn the grid off or keep it on. So up here in my settings, I can choose to turn off my grid. Um, and so then I won't see those things. But now I can do other aspects of working with this real world image. So I could pull up my plotted points and put some points on it um, and then find the regression of this curve or this line or this curve so many things that you can do so let's just show you uh that right now we'll do red points here i'm just going to put a couple points just to show you how this works let's just do three so now that i have these points now i can put these points somewhere on my curve that I'm trying to fit and now I can do regressions or find the slope or find the quad I, I'm going to say this is my parabola parabola that might go through this so there's lots of things you can do you could come up here and try to fit a function to a specific part of this image so having those real world images allows you to, to really explore the real world mathematics using functions, using points, using regressions, lots of different options that you can do. So inserting an image is very easy in the graph. You hit this image, pick the picture you want, and it ends up on the graph. And then you can resize as needed, change the center, change the angle. You can even rotate them. I'll show you what that looks like here. Let's say I want to rotate this, I don't know, let's say 25 degrees. So it's going to turn my picture 25 degrees. So lots of ways you can then play around with the images. You can even write text on here to describe where this is or what this is. So real world bridge. Um, so lots of different things you can do. Let's show you how you can do the same thing in geometry. So now I'm going to pull up a geometry sticky. So notice unlimited space here. And it's the same situation over here where I have text and text means I can write on here. So let's do archaeology and so I've written right on my screen but now I want to put an image in so I am going to do the same thing so again here's my options it's here on the bottom right kind of near the trash so here's where you can do your text your image your protractor and so same situation I'm going to click in here go find an image and I am pulling up a artifact of a plate found in archaeology and I'm going to hit OK and it's going to put that image here. And let's say I'm working with students and we've just, you know, gone through some cord um, things and I want them to find the circle that fits around this. So the nice thing is I can, let's make this a little bit bigger and let's move this image up a little bit. Let's say I want them to actually find what is the size of this plate. We found these three pieces of a plate. How could I find the actual center of this circle this plate, figure out how large this circle is, find the area of this plate, those types of things with only three pieces. And here's where we might use our chord properties. So I could have them get a segment tool and notice I can do things right on the image. And so let's make two chords. Let's make another one. And so I'm using my chord properties here. And now I could select 
and do the perpendicular bisector, right? So I'm, I've just learned my chord um, properties. And so if I do the perpendicular bisector of both my chords, I will have found the center of this image. And so let's construct that intersection. And here is, now I'm going to get my circle tool. And now I should have a circle that will show me the entire plate. So this is the really nice thing about being able to put images on here is you can use your mathematics on top of those images as curve fitting or as applying properties to real world things and make things um, fit. And you can add text, you can add um, mathematical things on top of them and resize them, lots of different options. So have fun, really bring in that real world connection for students.